All right, what's going on guys? Delts, welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video. Now, today is going to be the start of something brand new. Now, leading up to Black Ops 3, I wanted to go ahead and kind of point out a flaw in AW that I think could have been done better. I guess I hopefully I hope I said that right but I'm gonna do these videos maybe every day or every other day I'm not 100% sure yet uh, depending on how much support you guys show on the video will determine that but also I want to let you guys know that you guys are always welcome to leave your opinions down in the comments below I want to hear what you guys have to say but it's gonna be kind of a sit down session and today I wanted to talk about season pass holders now a lot of people have really been bringing this to my attention with some ideas and stuff and they say oh this is how it should be and this is how it isn't and they want it to be like this okay now season pass holders you guys know it's 50 bucks for the season pass it gets you four dlcs and any other exclusive content that comes with the dlc in terms of guns in terms of gear whatever it may be in advanced warfare we got the 84 in the o or in the ohm and the four map packs now the season pass does not, in or I believe actually we got the M1 irons a little bit earlier, or something like that for the season pass. I'm not 100% sure. You guys let me know down in the comments below. But um, when it came to the STG44, the MP40, the SVO, you know, the Cell 3 and all that, if, if you own the season pass, you still had to earn a variant to get the base variant. Now, honestly, the, the variant and the base variant thing is another topic for another video, but this is kind of, I guess, tying into it. So it's like a two in one thing. But a lot of people that have the season pass think that if you have the season pass and you pay that 50 bucks, and keep in mind, this is 50 bucks. The actual Advanced Warfare game, well, right now it's 40, but when it came out, was 60 bucks. So 10 bucks more, you could have got yourself another copy of Advanced Warfare or another Call of Duty or something like that. This is 50 bucks. So 50 bucks is a pretty big deal, okay? Now, when you pay this 50 bucks, season pass holders are like, okay, well, if anything new comes out, I should get it first, or I should get the base variant of it. I shouldn't have to go and spend extra money and get a variant to get the base variant now this is all marketing this is all business this is all this 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 and that this is the way activision and sledgehammer games make money i get it but there is a point in time where you have to say enough is enough okay these people we need to give the fans what they want because if not they're going to drift away from the game i would love for sledgehammer games to display their player count for one day just one day so we can all see how many people are playing and i'm pretty sure that black Ops 2 and Ghost and Modern Warfare 3 and even Call of Duty 4 have a bigger player count than AW does right now. Let's be real. So, honestly, season pass holders, we should get the DLC as soon as it is dropped. There should not be any unlocking a variant to get the base variant. We should unlock the base variant right away if you are a season pass holder. Because of the simple fact that we're paying $50 to these guys to get exclusive DLC content, maps, guns, whatever it may be. That should include pretty much any 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 other DLC. The M1 Irons is a DLC. The STG44, MP40, all that is DLC. So we should be getting that first. We should not have to be unlocking a variant to get the base variant. A season pass holder should always get DLC first. Honestly, that's that's just how it is. That's just how it has to be. I mean, you don't pay $50 and say, hey, we're not going to give you this DLC. You have to go ahead and buy a whole bunch of supply drops and get a variant to get the base variant. No. When these DLC guns come out, I want to get the base variant right away because I am a season pass holder. That's how it was for the 84. That's how it was for the Ohm. I'm not really 100% sure if, that, if that's how it was for the M1 irons but that's how it should be for all the other guns that came out so that's how i feel that's how i think it should be season pass holders any dlc that comes out we should get it first no matter what it is exclusive dlc content you know dlc maps whatever it may be we should always get it first that's how i think it always should be so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about today's topic i think next time i'm going to be talking about skill-based matchmaking or something you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys want me to talk about we got skill based matchmaking advanced supply drops oh my god we got so much shit to talk about i can't wait to get this thing up and rolling but you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe to come part of the delta squad today and i will see you guys in the next video peace out